Hello and welcome back to another video here with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're working on another 5.5 video and specifically I want to share with you another housing item that you can get if you come over to the um, basically the Tempest in Shadowbringers. If you go to the Ondo Cups this is a new bicolor gemstone uh, item. Bicolor gemstones if you didn't already know can be obtained by doing fates in Shadowbringers areas such as these fates here in any of the zones. When you do those, you actually get yourself, as you can see, bicolor gemstones. You can also increase uh, your rank in areas. As you can see, we've done all of that, but you get these gemstones from actually doing fates. As you can see, we have 130, which is more than enough for today's video. So if you go over to the Tempest, to the Ondo Cups, you'll find a gemstone trader marked on your map as a sack with a gem next to it. Who is just over here by the name of Goosh Owen, whatever that's supposed to mean. That's a nice name. And you'll see a bunch of stuff. If you tick the show only recently added items, you'll see that there is this. This is called the Academia Prospectuses. All right? It says this collection of brochures provides detailed information to prospective students of the Academia Anida or Anda. This will cost you 50 bicolor gemstones. So we're going to purchase that. And then we're going to go over to the house, wank this on a table, and see what it looks like. Right then, here we are with a table in my house, with some of the items from a previous video in the backdrop. Don't uh, just just ignore those. Uh, we have ourselves the Academia Prospectuses here, and this is what those look like. As you can see, we'll have a nice zoom in of those because honestly, you can't really tell what on earth is going on at this distance. So they're kind of blurry, as you can see. If you sort of have some distance from them, you'll notice that there's lots of rings and, you know, these are basically prospective science things, aren't they? They're trying to get students into whatever Academia Ander was, uh, was actually all about. So there's all like studying certain parts of life, isn't there, and experiments and such. It's really difficult to see what those are. It's a shame that they're so blurred out but these are the sort of things. I think I've seen them in the dungeon lying around on the floors as like litter items, but this is a perfect thing. If you've got like an, a sort of laboratory type setup in your house, maybe a section where you've got a study, perhaps this would look good on a sort of like a desk next to your study area, you know, with a chair pulled up with lots of other documents, classified documents, and maybe the, you know, the astral and umbral poster in the background, something like that. Um, they're interesting, for sure, uh, especially considering one of the pamphlets is unusually shaped. Uh, let's turn off the grid snap there so we can have a nice smooth rotation. But yeah, they're okay. They're not the most incredible items in the world because of the fact you have to stand so far away. I mean, it looks like this is the shape of Amanesis and uh, there, and then there's like some architecture and bits and pieces. Not really sure what to take from this. But it is a nice set of pamphlets, isn't it? Prospectuses. A prospectus is where you're, when you're applying for a university and they send you a prospectus sort of showing off what the establishment's capable of, right? What you, you know, why you would want to send your child or why would you want to actually study at this particular university. So I presume that's pretty much what they're going with, with uh, Amnesis and Ida or Anda or whatever, have you, however you pronounce that. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. There we go. If I zoom out of first person mode, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? You get a better idea of what those sort of pamphlet prospectuses look like. Which I'm presuming is how you're supposed to see them anyway. You know, not necessarily up close and personal. You're not supposed to be able to read all of the stuff. It's a nice pile of books. It's a great addition to the other pile of books we have there. It doesn't cost the earth, which is the best thing. And uh, it's nice that they're adding more bicolor gemstone stuff into the game. I hope that they continue with that into the future. I would love to see more bicolor gemstone stuff in uh, Endwalker as well. Hopefully they do a similar thing with the Fates there. I'm, uh, I'm personally all behind that. I think it's a fantastic system. But uh, you might disagree. Let me know what you think about these prospectuses below. And I'll look forward to any prospective comments to read. Oh, that was terrible. Much love, enjoy the rest of your day. For more 5.5 coverage, check out the rest of the channel or watch me on Twitch TV 
on twitch.tv forward slash Mioni four days a week when I stream Final Fantasy XIV. Much love, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you next time. Bye bye. Whee!